So this is what we created on last night's stream and this is it completed. Now, first up, we can see that we've got a whole bunch of different objects. I want to shift left click this bottom one first because there's a whole bunch of modifiers. I'm going to go convert to mesh. So this will apply all the modifiers. And then from here, I'm just going to press control J to join the mesh. And now it's all one mesh into object mode, select everything. I'm going to go U smart UV project. Oakley Doakley. Now, technically I should really go like behind all these pieces, control L and delete these back faces. Um, but ah, stuff that. <laughs> Let's jump over to UV editing, select all, and we can see we've got a UV layout. Now it looks a little bit like rubbish. However, I will bring up UV pack master, UV pack master and go pack. And now you can see how that has been compressed to cover the whole model UV. Yeah, it filled in all the gaps. Now I will post this on Gumroad for free. However, if you want access to the file and as well as a whole bunch of other files that I have, jump on Patreon. From here, I'm gonna make sure that the object's in the center of the scene, file, export. I'm just gonna go FBX, chair test. I haven't done this yet, but yes, selected objects only, export. Now off to substance. And in substance, we're gonna go file new, uh, document resolution, I'm just going up to 4K, who cares? Select the file, which is our chair test. Now I'm not gonna to be too concerned about high poly and low poly, so I don't really care. I'm just gonna press okay. Metallic is roughness, alpha blend, cool beans, okay. And the donkey I am, I've actually got three materials on. Ugh. Let's uh, just fix that up. Now, the reason why I'm whinging is A, I actually didn't set up the materials properly, but as well, kind of like it screws up with the layer system. And I'm pretty sure I can't delete materials. So just go back into Blender real quick, select that, go into materials, remove, remove, file, export, FBX. Yes, please. File, new file, select our object, 4K, OK. Discard. There we go. So now it's all of one mesh. Now, obviously, if we just kind of like jump into smart materials and we throw on, um, let's go like gunmetal mats, you can see it looks like rubbish. Now, the first thing I have to do is come over into the texture set settings, scroll down, and we're going to bake mesh maps. From here, the output size, I normally bump up to 2K, use high poly as low poly. And then just go bake selected textures and it's going to kind of go through all this sweet candy. Let's go return to painting mode. And now we can see that is looking way better over into the layers tab. I'm just going to minimize that. I'm going to keep the gun metal gray. I think though I might make it a little bit more shinier. So if we expand the folder and what I can actually start doing is kind of like hiding layers. So we can see those, the scratches or the edge wear. this is the scratches minute details, metal, there we go. So if we click on metal, uh, probably click on the fill layer here. And then if we come down into the fill properties, it's gonna close the Omniverse connector just so I've got some extra real estate. We should see a color somewhere. Maybe it's here. Uh, if we hide the fill, we can see that's not the color. So it's gotta be the metal section up here. Let's come down and we can see that it's basing it off another material. So I'm going to assume if we go into parameters, let's go into channels, nine, let's go into basic parameters. I don't know. Advanced parameters, E, metal color. All right, I'm going to make that lighter, something like that. Awesome. All right, cool beans. Um, let's kind of like slap together a leather material just so we can kind of put it onto here. Um, leather damaged, I would s let's go leather weathered. So from here, I'm going to click and drag it just on top. Now everything's going to become leather. So let's put a mask on. So I'm going to go right click, add a black mask. There we go. So everything is hidden. So now we need to paint white on here. Now, because I know that all these objects are separated and I chose to make it like that, I can come up here into the left hand side and select my selection tool. And we're going to go into mesh fill and we're gonna make it white. So anything that's gonna be white is going to be our leather. So let's quickly select all our leather pieces. Oops, undo please. That one, that one, and that one there. I think that is now everything. 
Yep, looking good. So let's go back to our paintbrush tool. You can't see how that's coming together. The leather normals are a little bit too strong. So if we expand the leather folder, come down into leather. Is that, where is the chunky bit? I think it's here somewhere. Uh, normal intensity, we'll bring that down. High position, bring that down. Ooh, let's find a nice number where it's okay. Oh, there we go, and we'll bring down the height range. So to me, that's, that's looking really nice. Pretty chuffed how this is looking. Now, I stuffed up. So you can see how these spots are all darker. That's because if we come back into our chair and we select up here in the top right and go face orientation, it's all facing the wrong way. You stupid idiot. Don't forget, do this at the start. We have to do this all over again. Select all, shift N to flip the normals. Now everything is looking blue. I will select this face here individually. Shift N, bottom right, recalculate normals inside. There we go. Dang it. File, export, FBX. And uh, let me get back to where we were. There we go. We're back to where we were. I reckon we could probably throw on another metal, just kind of like in some of these other bits. And this could be maybe, maybe just like a, ooh. Maybe kind of like a red plastic. Right click, black mask. This time I'm gonna go into face select. And we're gonna select all the faces that we want to be. Like so. Not bad, anywhere else? I think maybe we might go back into objects. You, you, and you. You, you, and you. You, 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 you. I reckon that's pretty cool. Oh, I'm very happy with that. So let's now go file, export textures. Select folder. Let's now go into export. Export all our textures. Back into Blender. Shading. Close lat. Let's create a new material. I've got Node Wrangler enabled. Control Shift T. Textures. Select all that. Principal shader. Into cycles. An absolutely wonderful chair.